Uh, everything's under control. Situation normal. What happened? Uh, I had a slight weapons malfunction, but uh, everything's perfectly all right now. We're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. How are you? I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Chewy. We're home. On Solo. I'm Captain of the Millennium Falcon. I'm Spartacus! 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 I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. As always, it's me, the Smithy D. I finally got some internet again, guys, so we're definitely going to be picking up where we left off. We've got some territory battles that I'm going to work on for you to make you some mini guides to help you kind of do that. But for today, we're going to be looking at the new smuggler, Han Solo and Chewbacca. And some of you are like, well, where did this come from? This is just random. We've just had a Han Solo. Now now we've got another version. The possibilities are endless of what we could see in this game. Next we may see a carbonite hand or we may even see a confused hand from Return of the Jedi when Leia said Luke is her brother. So we've got four hand solos currently in the game but where is Jedi Luke? Come on CG, come on give us Jedi Luke. We want Jedi Luke, we've got kind of like Cloud City, Bespin Luke, but now I think we're ready for Jedi Luke, I think we're ready for the next Hero's Journey. And while we've got Hero's Journey, what about Anakin going to Darth Vader? Where is Lord Vader and where is a new version of Vader? Let's have a Rogue One version of Darth Vader and bring that darkness back to the game. Guys, I am so happy to be back creating videos for your enjoyment and I do hope you enjoy this video and if you do, then make sure that you do hit that like button. But let's jump into it and have a look at Han Solo and Chewbacca. Han Solo, at gear 12 including all them little pieces and including them 20 Zetas, he's going to be having a power level of 19,929 with a speed of 145 and an amazing decent health of 20 26,054. But that is not all folks, he also has an amazing amount of protection and we're thinking this is kind of like a gear 11 R2 protection amount with 31,152. I have a premonition guys, we're going to see another Chewbacca with a Rebel Tag. You heard it here first, but let's have a look at the veteran smuggler Chewbacca's stats. Fully maxed at gear 12, including 20 Zetas, Chewbacca has a 17,733 power level with a slow speed of 102, but with a whopping health pool of 33,412. But if that wasn't enough, he also has 39,840 protection and all these stats are excluding mods. So both of these characters have some really solid stats, but the biggest concern is they do not have a faction tag except for Scoundrel. And I think in the long run, all the current meta in the game, this is really going to kind of take the value off these characters of where you can use them. Because arena wise, we can see in this footage that we've got today that it does work against some teams. But when we look at we've got rebels running around and say let's Empire come back, there is no reason resistance tag on these characters and especially with episode 8 on the rise we're going to see more resistance characters so I would like to see these characters either have the resistance tag or it's something they're going to add in the future. I'm sure if Stormtrooper Han can be given the rebel tag then these two characters could be given the resistance tag. So let's jump in and have a look at their abilities and see what they deliver to the game and where they could be effective and then we'll move on to a final verdict. Han Solo's basic attack is called True Shot. Omega at level 8 this deals physical damage to the target enemy with a 50% chance to attack again. The chance is doubled if the target is debuffed, Han inflicts stagger for two turns when he attacks again. His basic attack is going to work very well with any character that can apply debuffs. Hey, can I try that? I like this thing. 
His first and only special ability is called Can I Try That Omega at level 8 with a free turn cooldown. This special ability deals physical damage to all enemies, stuns the primary target for one turn with a 80% chance to inflict ability block on all enemies for one turn. So what you have here is a generic area of effect attack that's not only going to stun the primary but also ability block the surrounding enemy characters on the opposite team. Again, it comes back to Han Solo not having the resistance tag, so this can cause some issues for you in the arena because, in my opinion, Scoundrel isn't really a valid kind of like tag for him to have, especially when you've got the rebels running around in the arena. And this ability would be great under a Zeta Finn leadership, able to get that turn meter from the resistance tag for him to keep using this move to ability block the enemy. So this would have been great for the arena if he had that resistance tag. Other ways to use him in the arena would be putting a lot of speed and trying to kind of like outspeed the enemy, but with the kind of commander Luke Skywalker Walker in there, he's probably going to gain a lot of turn meter from any area of effect attacks and it means in the arena you're going to be needing to have R2-D2 to put Han under stealth. Han Solo comes with two uniques, his first unique is called Partner in Crime, Omega at level 8, Han has plus 25% critical chance and plus 50% health steal. When veteran smuggler Chewbacca takes damage, Han gains 20% critical damage stacking until he next scores a critical hit. When smuggler Chewbacca is defeated, Han gains 100% turn meter, his cooldowns are reset and he takes an additional turn after his next turn. His second unique is called Swindle, Zated at level 8. When an enemy gains a buff, Han gains 25% counter chance stacking until the end of his next turn. When Han gains a debuff, he gains 50% defense stacking until the end of his next turn. When Han gains any status effect, he gains 50% armor penetration stacking until the end of his next turn. It's always going to come back to Han not having a valid faction tag for him to be used in the arena. At the moment, looking at his kit, I don't really see a good place for him to be used in the raids or is he going to help your raid team? He's definitely, in my opinion, not going to be working very well in the Rancor. He's got no turn meter reduction. His ability blocks, his stuns are not going to work on a raid boss. So we will have to see what Chewie brings to the table. Veteran Smuggler Chewbacca's basic attack is called Explosive Bolt. Omega at level 8, it deals physical damage to the target enemy with a 80% chance to inflict daze for two turns. Daze in my book is one of the best debuffs there is currently in Galaxy of Heroes because it's going to stop the enemy from counter-attacking and assisting, which is great for territory battles versus those elite snow troopers that are able to counter-attack, but it does come back to not having that resistance tag where they're not going to get any synergy from anything that's upcoming, you know, in the future we're talking episode 8, they're not going to get anything from that and we're going to have to wait until we see something really, really good that has the scoundrel tag for him to kind of be used mass priority and that is when and where and how will it happen you know there's lots of things you know maybe we'll see a Django fair and you can put them in there and have that kind of weird synergy because they're scoundrels and they they work together but I would like to see that CG do add the resistance tag to these characters because in my book that would make them so much better his first and only special ability is called Furious Blow. Omega at level 8, this ability deals physical damage to the tag enemy, dispels all buffs on them and stuns them for 1 turn, inflicts speed down on all enemies for 2 turns. On this special ability, I would have liked to see Chewie still have his taunt from his previous version because I thought that would be a great concept to kind of mirror the kind of like synergy with Han Solo for when Chewie does take damage, Han Solo is going to be gaining that kind of crit damage stacking, which would have made sense in my opinion. He could still then dispel the debuffs on the enemy, apply speed down, then maybe, just maybe, taunt for one turn. Chewie also has two uniques, and his first unique is called Partner in Crime. Omega at level 8. Chewbacca has 25% critical chance and 50% health steal. When veteran smuggler Han Solo <laughs> takes damage, Chewbacca gains 20% critical damage stacking until he scores a critical hit. When veteran smuggler Han Solo is defeated, Chewbacca gains 100% turn meter, his cooldowns are reset, and he takes an additional turn after his next turn. 
His second unique is called Let the Walkie Win. Stated at level 8, at the start of each enemy turn, Chewbacca gains 12% offense stacking until he uses two abilities. This is one of those uniques that I would call there kind of like a meta unique. This is great for any fast team out there that gains lots of turn meter that goes before Chewie because it's going to be feeding him lots of offense and until he actually uses any abilities and I believe that will count as well for a basic ability even though it's not really clear of when the stacking it says until he uses two abilities but he does have a basic ability so I would class that as when he takes two turns and attacks. So we've gone over the stats, we've gone over the abilities, now it's time to have a look at the good, the bad and the ugly. We got a second Chewbacca guys, I know a lot of people have been asking for a second Chewbacca, maybe not the Chewbacca that we want, but we got a second Chewbacca. So we had three Han Solos, now we have four, so you're not spoilt for choice, I'm just kind of wondering when Indiana Jones will be added to Galaxy of Heroes. Their base stats are quite amazing for the character builds that they are, so a lot of time and thought have gone into what their base stats are going to be given to kind of match with their abilities. I do feel that, you know, they're going to work in some areas of the game, but there's going to be a lot of areas that they're not going to work in also. A good area is territory battles, you know, with Chewbacca's stacking. That is definitely going to help you in territory battles if you do get into 7 star. And all these characters will go through the same cadence, so they're going to be free to play. You know, you're going to be able to pick them up from the shard shop hopefully at a later date these two characters have a very high survivability with the high health steal that they have not only as a base stat but they also have it on their unique and finally for the good section if you were having any issues completing the scoundrel heists these two characters without a doubt at even gear 11 is going to get you through those challenges so we've gone over the good now let's have a look at the bad these two characters are not going to be ideal for many game modes. Yes, they will get you through the Galactic War, without a doubt. They are good characters on their kind of own or in a duo, but in game modes like the Rancor or the AAT, they could be some struggling going on to kind of get them into an ideal squad. In the state of the arena that it's currently in, these two characters are not going to kind of excel in those areas because of the type of characters that we already have present in the game and have a place in the arena. I cannot imagine any two characters in my team that I would take out for these two characters. So we've gone over the good, we've gone over the bad, now let's have a look at the ugly. So the main thing that I do see as the ugly on these characters is that scoundrel tag. So you should have guessed it already that in my opinion they need to have the resistance tag to be more viable today, tomorrow and in the future. Like always in these reviews I'm going to grade the character superhero being the highest, hero being the kind of middle tier, then we've got sidekick and then we've also got villain. So after analysing these characters, we're talking stats, speed, what goes into the characters, their abilities, the good, the bad and the ugly, I've decided to give this dynamic duo a hero status. These characters have everything going for them, they've got good stats, they've got good abilities, but what really holds them back is using them in other areas that we find useful in our everyday days in Galaxy of Heroes. If they were given that resistance tag, it would make them so much better, and in my opinion, they would be up there as a superhero. So what is your thoughts on the new Han and Chewie? Was it too soon? Did we get the wrong Chewie and we wanted the Rebel Chewbacca? Let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video then make sure that you do hit that like button and if you want to subscribe to get notifications when I do post videos then please do. Thank you very much for watching today. I'm the Smithy D. May the Force be with you always.